A damp night at Memorial Stadium couldn't slow down a red-hot Seattle Rain FC. A 3-1 win over the Washington Spirit improves the club's record to 2-0, and with six points, they sit atop the NWSL table. Overall, you know, to score three goals again was great, and the fact that we conceded on a harsh penalty and, you know, not in open play was pleasing and hope didn't really have a lot to do again bar you know one or two things this time um, but yeah I think Washington are a good side so pleased overall. You know game one there's like a lot of nerves and, and you never really know how everybody's going to come out and play and, and game two is you know kind of a proving point uh, to, to make a statement and let everybody know in this league that you know we're the real deal so um, I think we proved it tonight. Kendall Fletcher opened the scoring with the fastest goal in Rain FC history connecting on a Jess Fishlock cross in the second minute. Keelan Winters put Rain FC up 2-0 in the 48th minute, delivering a beautiful header on a corner from Naho. The first corner, I, uh, I went near post and the ball went sailing over my head, so um, when it was my chance to, to get in for my second corner, and I was you know, thinking to myself that you know, I think she's going to put it in the same spot, so I faked like I was going near post, peeled back around, and and got in behind my defender and the ball was coming right to my head and my, I think my eyes got, got like huge because I was, you know, just chomping at the bit and it was probably one of the most powerful headers I've ever had. But um, yeah, poor Ashlyn had no chance because it was coming in so fast, so. In a physical 90 minutes where both teams struggled to find a rhythm, executing two perfect set pieces turned the tide in Rain FC's favor, something Laura Harvey echoed following the match. Yeah, I don't think we've ever scored off one before. So yeah, it was great. Uh, we've actually done a lot of work on set pieces, um, trying, trying stuff different and trying a few different things. And you know, when you score off set pieces, it's actually really, really rewarding. Um, so yeah, I was pleased for that. And pleased for Kendall and Keelan, because I think over the last two games, they've probably been our best two players consistently. Kendall, you know, coming straight back into the American game and uh, I don't think she's really put a foot wrong so far and Keelan's like the glue for us, like she just does all the horrible side of the game and for them two to get a bit of uh, the limelight by scoring was, was nice. A handball in the box provided the only blemish on an otherwise perfect night. Diana Matheson converted the penalty for Washington, but the Rain FC defense left with plenty to be proud of. It's something that we've been working on, um, you know, all preseason and in the past 10 days is hard to beat, hard to beat. It's really something that, you know, Laura's been, been harping on and beating it into her brains. And uh, I think our defensive effort, you know, I think our shape was, was incredible tonight. I don't think we ever really, truly lost shape and they never really... Um, had caught us like out of shape and were able to expose us so um, you know I was really happy with our defensive effort tonight. Rain FC has another opportunity to cement its dominance at home hosting the Houston Dash this Sunday for Memorial Stadium. I want people to fear coming to Memorial and you know for us to come out two wins score six goals in our first game be hard to beat uh, not concede a goal in open play we're starting to set you know records from a franchise perspective but we're starting to show that we can compete in this league oh my gosh i know we play again on sunday so we're gonna have to do a lot of rest and recovery but you know that's that's never a problem for us so we'll be ready on sunday